Okay, we are on Psachim, Perik Yud Mishnah Bab, sixth Mishnah in the final chapter of Masechet Psachim. Says the Mishnah, In the last Mishnah we said, we said, the number of the fun of Hallelujah, we'll say before God Hallelujah, meaning we're going to say Hallel. So you're going to say Hallel, we know you, there's, there's Hallel in the Suda, but part of it, part of Magid has to have Hallel. So everyone agreed that we start Hallel, but we don't finish Hallel. It's too long. Okay, the Kahati says, okay, we don't say the whole thing because Tino Kotsh, Lo Yudimu, they'll fall asleep, which they probably would. They want to eat. It's a long meal. So, Ad Hechan Hu Omer, how much do you say? So, if you know what Hallel is, Hallel is essentially a series of chapters in Tehillim. Starts from Tehillim 113, Kuf Yud Gimel, okay, Hallelujah, Moshivi, Moshivi, Nedivi, Moshivi, Emma, Mismich, Hallelujah. Then the next chapter, Betei Yizra Mi Mitzayim, 115. It's, it goes to Lo Lanu, all the way down to Nachman Levarach Yad, or Ameti Mi Hallelujah. 116, it goes all the way to Hallelujah, 118, uh, until the end of Kuf Yud Chet. That is the, the essence of Hallel. It starts with Kuf Yud Bet. How much do you say? Ad Hecha No Omer. Beit Shammai Omrim, Beit Shammai says, Ad Ema Banim Smecha. Ema Banim Smecha, Hallelujah. That's, where are we now? Kuf Yud uh, Gimel, I'm sorry. Okay, Moshivi Akerat Abayit, Ema Banis Mecha Hallelujah. Just the first chapter. You only need a taste of Hallel. Or Beit Hillel Omrim, Beit Hillel says, Ad Chalamish Lemayin Omayin. Chalamish Lemayin Omayin. Let's go back to Hallel for a second. No, you include B'tzei Tisrael Mimitzrayim. Why? Beit Hillel says, listen, you didn't mention Yetzi Mitzrayim. So if you only did the last paragraph of Kuf Yud Gimel 113, it's very nice. You started saying Hallel, but you didn't mention the essential thing. You didn't mention the whole idea of the, that you created a nation, that's why we're saying Hallel. So therefore, that's why Beit Hillel says, I think we're pretty sure we Paskin like, I think we're pretty sure we Paskin like, we Paskin like, yeah, we Paskin like Beit Hillel. The, it's interesting, there's a fascinating discussion of Tosefta brought in Yerushalmi. It's not a dot website, let's make it a little dot website. It's an old website from Gush, from Haritzion, that they updated a long time ago. They, you see, it's so old because they have these crazy gifs. Uh, so Beit Shammai, who says, you say the first chapter, says to Beit Shammai, we're at night. They didn't go out of Egypt yet. Beit Shammai says, so what? Even if you wait till Kruta Geber is a phrase for Alot HaShachar, when they, when they would call out and say, everybody get up. Even if you wait for everybody to woken up in the morning, B'nai Yisrael didn't leave until, until the midday. <coughs> so according to your logic, how do you ever say Geula? <coughs> Since he started at Yerab Yisrael, he say finish. And therefore, that's why Beit Hillel says, this is brought in Yerushalmi, that's why Beit Hillel says, you have to say the second chapter of Hallel until of B'tayt Yisrael Mimitzayim. V'chotem b'Geula. And you finish with the idea of Geula. Baruch Atah Hashem Ga'al Yisrael. But now there's a machloket. How do you finish it? Rabbi Tarfon Amar. Rabbi Tarfon says, "What's the bracha?" Asher ge'alanu ve'ge'alav otenim mitzrayim. Baruch atah Hashem alukin melech olam. Asher ge'alanu ve'ge'alav otenim mitzrayim. And that's the whole bracha. That's it. That's the Baruch atah Hashem. That's that's the whole thing. Ve'gi'anu le'layla hazeh. Ve'lo yachotem. There's no additional bracha. Let's go back for a second to the to the Hagada. Okay, and as we read it, because we're going to see. Let's let's we see. We see, we read B'tai Yisrael, as Rabbi Akiva, as, as Beit Hillel said, and then we read the bracha of the following. According to the first opinion, Rabbi Tarfon, that's it. That's the whole bracha. Okay, why? Because Rabbi Tarfon says it's a bracha mitzvah. And in any bracha mitzvah, let's say you make a bracha on tzitzit. Boom. There's no more, there's no chatima, it's not a long bracha. It's a bracha mitzvah, it's like a bracha hadne'anin. There's a bracha, you know, here we're saying a bracha, on the mitzvah of Yitzhak Mitzvah, Sipur Yitzhak Mitzvah, and therefore, lo ayachotein. Rabbi Akiva, Omer Rabbi Akiva says, no, it's more, it's not a bracha of birchot ha-peirot, because it's a divrei ritzui, I'm looking at the bartunur here, you have to add in divrei ritzui ubakasha. So Rabbi Akiva adds in the following, so should God and the God of our forefathers. He should bring us to Moadim and holidays that are coming. 
rejoicing in the building of your city, v'sasim ba'avodatech, and rejoicing in your worship. V'nochal sham min azvachim u'min apsachim. We'll eat there from the zvachim, from the korbanot, and from the psachim. Ad baruch ata Hashem ga'al Yisrael. So Rabbi Kiva says it's not just a bracha and a mitzvah. It's a bracha of ritzui u'bakasha. We have more things to add. Rabbi Kiva, it's interesting, clearly added this after the Chorban Beit HaMikdash. That once the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed, the, the night of the Seder, this is a really important theme. Somebody has to write Haggadah about this. That the night of the Seder is not just a night of remembering, it's a night of yearning for the future. It was designed, the way we, we experience the Haggadah, as I've mentioned, we experience the yearning for the Korban Pesach, the desire for the Korban Pesach. So Rabbi Akiva says it has to be included in the Bracha. It's not enough to remember what was, it's really important to remember not only what was, but what will be as well. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Harav Simcha Yitzchak Kalman. If you have comments or questions, email me at arsfolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.